The world has been waiting for an official PS5 Pro teardown. Austin Evans gets the first look. For months, tech enthusiasts and gamers alike have been eagerly anticipating an official teardown of the PS5 Pro. The rumors surrounding Sony's next-gen console have been swirling, and now, thanks to YouTuber Austin Evans, the mystery is beginning to unravel. Austin recently got his hands on a PS5 Pro, and his first teardown video has left fans with more questions than answers. It could be 5 nanometer. I'll, I'll be honest, I don't know if it's 5 nanometer or not. But I, I physically, well that, I, yes, I will measure it. But I cannot measure the nanometers with my... <laughs> that would be really impressive if I could look and go, no, yeah, 279. Wow. Wait, hold on a second. My rough math here, and keep in mind I'm using these calipers, so it's it's accurate-ish, but I wouldn't, like, I'd want to actually, like, fully tear everything apart to be sure. The PS5 Slim, according to my measurement here, is 271 millimeters squared. The PS5 Pro is 279 millimeters squared. That is almost the same. One of the most pressing queries, the PS5 Pro's manufacturing process. Is Sony sticking with the 6 nanometers architecture from the original PS5, or is it making a leap to 5 nanometers? This is a crucial detail, as it could dramatically impact the console's performance and power efficiency. With the shift from 7 nanometers to 6 nanometers in the standard PS5, there were noticeable improvements. And the question now is whether the PS5 Pro will follow the same trend or introduce a new level of efficiency. This actually might be a 5 nanometer chip. I don't know how else they will be able to essentially make the chip the exact, or almost the same size, right? Very, very close and fit that much more performance in it. Uh, it's hard for me to imagine another situation that this is not a 5 nanometer chip. Which would make sense why it's $700, because I'll be honest with you, the rest of this sort of overall layout is very similar to PS5 Slim and the earlier PS5. It's like, yeah, probably a few dollars more here in copper, a few more dollars here in like a slightly bigger fan or whatever, but like, there's not $200 more anywhere here. Another key consideration is the price. As is typical with more powerful hardware, the PS5 Pro is expected to come with a higher price tag. But does the performance increase justify the cost? While we still don't know the full details, it's clear that gamers are wondering if the extra power is worth the premium, especially in an era of rising production costs and supply chain concerns. But really the mystery is just what this chip is. I can't understand any other way that they would get this very reasonable power consumption in a chip which is almost the same size and with a way, way bigger GPU. But for that, I guess that will be a mystery that we'll solve another day. While Austin Evans' initial teardown has given us a glimpse into the hardware of the PS5 Pro, many answers remain elusive. The big question about the console's nanometer process will likely be answered soon enough. Austin has promised a follow-up video, where we'll get a deeper dive into the internals of the PS5 Pro, and finally learn whether Sony has upgraded to 5 nanometers, or stuck with 6 nanometers for this next-gen powerhouse. Stay tuned for the second part of Austin Evans' teardown, where the mystery of the PS5 Pro's nanometer will finally be revealed. Well, that is it for now. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you and see you on the next video.